Hello, in this tip and trick video I'll show you how to use the multi-edit feature in ANSYS Fluent to selectively copy boundary conditions from one zone to multiple others. I'm using ANSYS Fluent 2020 R2. The simple copy functionality here does let us pick a particular boundary and copy it to multiple others and we can also drag and drop from the object menu here which does the same thing. The problem occurs though when we don't want to copy all of the boundary conditions across. So for example if I open up a wall boundary here under the thermal tab I've got a fixed temperature and a wall thickness. Now it may be the case that I want to apply a fixed temperature across multiple boundaries but I have varying wall thickness. Now if I use the copy command then it will overwrite everything so I'll have to go back into those individual boundaries where I have a different wall thickness for example and make those changes manually. So it can be quite time consuming. If I select all of the boundaries and use multi-edit, so I right click, click on multi-edit, this brings up the multi-edit panel. You can see over to the right I've got my boundaries that I'm applying the changes to and the field entry box is here. So let's say I want to apply a temperature change to all of those selected boundaries. I'll just type in a new number. And down here we've got wall thickness and I know that some of these zones have different wall thicknesses so I don't want to overwrite that. Now you can see to the left here we've got these, these icons um, and when it's in this state, if I just hover over it you'll see the text appear there. That means that Fluent has scanned through all of these boundaries and it's recognised that some of them have different wall thicknesses. So by default it's not going to overwrite that. Up here though we have the green tick mark here for temperature. Again, Fluence looked at these boundaries and recognized that the temperature is the same across the boundaries. So when it's a green check mark like this, then it will overwrite. When it's this red symbol here, it will not overwrite. Now you can change this if you just click on the icon, you see I can change it. And in that case, it would overwrite it. But it gives you this flexibility to selectively copy the individual uh, fields across zones. So I'll click apply now and you can see that it does actually give you a report into the console as to what it's done. Now let's have a look at our boundaries and see what's actually happened. So the first one here, you can see it's updated the temperature, which is what I wanted it to do. And the wall thickness here is, is zero. It hasn't overwritten that. And just to confirm that, we'll pick a boundary where I know there is a varying wall thickness. So you can see temperature, this has been updated but it's left the wall thickness alone. And that means that I don't have to go through all of these other zones making those changes manually. A very useful time-saving feature of Ansys Fluent. Hope you found this tip and trick useful. Thanks for watching.